Okay, when we're writing scientific papers, it's not like it was just a couple of decades ago where we sit down with pencil and paper and write a, a narrative word by word. Uh, now in the 21st century, we have a lot of, of assists that we can get from technology. So I'm going to give you four examples, and there are more and more, but I'll give you four examples of ways in which technology can uh, essentially help you to be an effective writer. So one of my favorites is uh, Google Documents, which is now morphed into uh, Google Drive. Uh, but this is essentially just a platform by which you can share a document and a bunch of people can work on the document simultaneously uh, and, and essentially collaborate in thinking together. Uh, this is a, a paper on open access and, and small society journals that several of my colleagues and I are working on. And what you can see is we had a basic text and then we have comments from different ones of us. Uh, and essentially, this is a, a great way of getting initial thinking, especially when you have a group of colleagues who maybe can't sit down in the same room and work together. Maybe this is out of order. Maybe this should be first. But another thing that, that we use, or my group uses, is the idea of, of um, discussion lists and, and email fora. Uh, here, using Google Groups, uh, you can see a series of discussions about uh, how we're developing this particular manuscript. Uh, here is attached is the most up updated version of the manuscript, including blah, 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 blah. And you can see different notes to different people as far as what they need to do. But essentially, we've got a whole bunch of members of this group, all of whom were working on this paper. And it's a very good way to coordinate um, steps forward in developing this paper. So this is not the only platform for this. There are lots of platforms that are essentially collaborative uh, discussion lists, collaborative fora. But this is, this is uh, one very robust way that you can uh, coordinate efforts with your colleagues and, and co-authors. On a more personal level, I think we have um, the potential for saving a lot of grief when we deal with literature cited sections. Uh, this is a, a detail thing. Uh, EndNote is one possibility. There are several other platforms for managing uh, bibliography. But essentially what you need to do is you need to find a solution uh, by which you can manage your bibliography. I don't think that it is practical or advisable to do this by hand. Why? Remember we talked about choosing a journal. You will have papers rejected. When your paper is rejected, the last thing you want to do is spend half a day reformatting all of the literature citations and all of the in-text citations and going through every last detail and making sure you have it in the format of the new journal. Things like EndNote are effective platforms by which you can manage the database of your, of your uh, literature and output your citations in a consistent format that fits with each of the journal's uh, requirements. And then one more uh, bit of technology that can, can help us is Mendeley. And this is essentially a platform by which uh, you can do several of the things I've just talked about. You can communicate, you can uh, share documents, you can manage literature, uh, but Mendeley is, is a, a very interesting platform by which you can essentially coordinate collaborative research. Uh, so this is another thing that I would advise you to take, take note of. Essentially, the, the whole idea in, in this little piece is what are the bits of technology that you can uh, grab onto that will make your life notably easier and your, your, your function as a scientist notably more efficient. I'm not into just grabbing technology because technology exists. I want you to see 
concrete advantages because you're using uh, this or that lead tech. 